The beautiful shell's stitch really lives up to its name. And I used this surprisingly simple shell pattern to make a cute little bandana, which is the perfect small project to try out if you're new to fancy stitches, tiny yarn, or color work. For this pattern, I used two colors of DK weight cotton yarn. The green is Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK, and the peach is an exact dupe from Ice Yarns called Baby Cotton. I also used a 3.5mm hook, but you could use nearly any weight yarn and hook because we grow this headband as wide as we need, starting with one shell and adding shells row by row. So to begin that very first shell, you're going to chain 6. and slip stitch into the first chain to create a little chain six ring. And into that ring, we're going to work nine double crochets total. But first we'll chain up three, which counts as one double crochet. So now you've got to make eight more double crochets right into the center of that ring to complete your first shell. As I'm working along here, I'm burying that yarn tail inside my double crochets, just to make weaving in the ends easier once my project is finished. And once you've finished your first shell, pull that last loop long, because we're going to do something a little tricky to make our color changes easier. So make that loop big so you don't lose the stitch, remove your hook and go back to the beginning, to insert your hook into the top of your starting chain 3 and pull through your second color. And chain 4. This whole pattern consists of shell rows and v-stitch rows, so that chain 4 counts as a double crochet and chain 1 of a v-stitch. And to complete your v-stitch, make one more double crochet right into the same spot that you just chained up from. Now chain 5. Skip all the stitches in between, and we've actually got to work a double crochet into that last stitch with the big loop coming out, so pinch it down and work one double crochet into that stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into the same stitch to make another V-stitch. Now we've got our first shell row, our first V-stitch row, and it's time to work another shell row. And now I can show you that little color change trick I mentioned that I chose to do so we don't have to cut our yarn every time we want to change color. So pop that big loop back on your hook and tighten it up. And you see here we have a bit of a height issue. The peach is lower than the green. So we're going to chain up three in the peach only to bring it up to the height of our current row. Then you can bring the peach loop through the green loop and tighten it up and drop the green color. We'll be working in the first color now. And we have to chain up three more in the peach, but I want to bring the green up with me while I do it. So it's available at the right height for the following row. So to do that, I'm going to cross the green yarn over the peach before I chain one. Cross it back over the peach to chain two. Again, cross back over my working yarn with the old yarn and chain three. Now I've effectively brought my green yarn up with the chain three and it's right where I need it for the next row after this one. So let's continue on in the peach for our next shell row. This chain three counts as the first double crochet of our shell. So work eight more double crochets into that first V stitch. Now I've come to something we haven't done yet, the chain five from the previous row. What you'll do is count five stitches from the previous shell and work one single crochet into that center shell stitch. When you make that single crochet, work it around the chain five from the previous row, essentially trapping it down under the stitch, just like that. 
Then we can work another shell stitch right into the last V stitch. So work nine double crochets into the chain space of that last V stitch. I'll count them up. Yep, I've got nine. So once again, pull that last loop up long and it's time to go pick back up at the beginning with our green yarn. Insert your hook into the top of the starting chain three and chain up four with the second color. Make a double crochet into the same stitch to complete your first V stitch. Chain five and work another V stitch into the single crochet from the previous row by working one double crochet right into that stitch. Chain one and one double crochet in the same stitch. Again, chain five and we'll work a V stitch into the very last stitch of the last shell of the row. I'll show you the color change switcheroo again, just cause it might be a little different than what you're used to. And I think you get the idea now. Alternate shell rows and V-stitch rows by working shells into every V-stitch and one single crochet into the center of each previous shell. Then on V-stitch rows, work a V-stitch, chain five, and repeat, working those V-stitches into the single crochets from the previous row and the very corners of your triangle, all while changing color that special way that I showed you. Until your piece measures 18 inches across on the long side, for me, that was 25 rows, or when I had 13 shells in one row, and finish on a shell row. Now all that's left is to add our little ties. And because of how we change color, we just so happen to have working yarn on both corners ready to go. So make a chain in each corner. It doesn't have to be too long, just a few inches worth. And I actually think it turned out really cute that each of the chains were different colors. If you're in love with the stitch, you can even keep going and grow your triangle into a scarf or a shawl. I'd love to see what you make with this pattern, so tag me wherever you are online, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!